Hey everyone, welcome back to our another episode of installation video for backup camera interface for Audis from Cars Gadget. This video will show how to install backup camera on Audi A3, Audi A4, Audi A5, Audi S4, S5, Audi Q5 with MIB radio system. First, with the tool provided in the kit, let's remove the MIB radio from the glove box. Then disconnect main power quad lock connector. Don't forget to put some cloth underneath the radio so you don't scratch your glove box. Disconnect LVDS cable from the radio, it can be either pink or grey connector. You have to press on the lever on the connector and wiggle it out. This could be tough, so use the help of a flat screwdriver. But at the same time be very gentle with it, so you don't break the connector. To remove the main quad lock connector, you have to unlock the lever first, move it all the way up and then remove the connector. Now let's connect Cars Gadget backup camera interface to the radio and test it first before we proceed to the complete installation. Let's install provided LVDS cable. Connect the green end from the cable to the LVDS in connector on the radio. Make sure you snug it well until you hear a click sound. Connect the other end from the LVDS cable into the white LVDS out connector on the interface unit. Then connect OEM LVDS cable into LVDS in on the interface unit. Now let's proceed with the installation of provided power and CAN bus cable. From the provided cable, first connect the male connector into the radio. Then connect the female connector with the OEM male connector together and lock the connector. And lastly connect the power connector into the interface unit. And the very last cable that connects to the interface unit is AV cable that has all RCAs and power wire for the rear view and front view cameras. According to the sticker on the unit, select DAP switch settings for your car. To do so, you need to disconnect the power connector set the DAP switch settings and reconnect the power connector. Since we install an Audi A3, all the switches must be up and only number 3 must be down. Switch number 4 is responsible for toggling between front camera manual and auto mode. Do the power reset every time when you set a new DAP switch setting. Now it's time to connect rear view camera. Connect purple power camera wire with the red wire coming out from the yellow RCA for the backup camera. Connect RCA extension cable with RCA in for the backup camera. Then connect backup camera trunk handle with the extension cable. The arrows must match on the both connectors. If you also decide to install the front camera, I'll show you how to connect both cameras together. Connect the yellow RCA from the front camera to the front camera in on the interface unit. Connect the red wire from the yellow RCA with the same purple wire coming out from the interface unit. Then connect the front camera into the extension cable for the front camera. And finally, it's time to test the system. Start the car and shift the lever into reverse. Also move the steering wheel left to right to see if the guidelines are moving. As you can see everything works perfectly. We have moving active guidelines and icon for the parking sensors. For those customers that already have vehicles with OEM backup camera and wish to install front camera only, we have a separate interface unit that comes as a kit with the interface unit and the front view camera. The front view camera can be on manually or set into the auto mode by DAP switch settings. Now that we know everything works perfectly, let's proceed with the final installation. To hide the interface unit, we need to remove the glove box. With the provided orange tool, let's go ahead and remove side plastic panel. Then undo 8mm bolt behind this plastic panel. Then two bolts underneath the glove box on the right and the left sides. 3 bolts on the top inside the glove box, one in the deep left corner behind the radio and last one in the deep right corner inside the glove box. Yeah. 
Once all bolts are removed, pull the glove box down and let it rest on the cables. On the trunk lid, remove the cover for the emergency triangle and remove two T25 screws. Then all you need to do, pull gently but firmly on the both ends of the cover. This trunk lid panel is the same part number for the sedans and the sport bags. Now let's replace OEM trunk handle with provided backup camera trunk handle. If you look inside the tailgate or trunk lid, you'll find a two 10mm nuts and one power connector to the trunk handle. Disconnect the connector, undo the two nuts and also help with the small screwdriver because the trunk handle also holds on the two plastic clips on the both sides. Then reinstall provided backup camera. It's a complete retrofit of backup camera from Audi B9 models. It has the same feel and functionality as OEM camera. After the installation is gonna have complete OEM look. This step applies only for the manual transmission. If your car has a manual transmission, you'll need to connect additional trigger wire to the reverse lamp power wire. To locate reverse power wire, you need to turn the ignition on without starting the engine, set the emergency brake, put the car in reverse, go to the back, find the reverse lamp, disconnect the connector, and with the tester tool, find the hot wire for the reverse lamp. In this car, it happens to be gray and blue wire, but the color can vary from car to car, model to model. Once you find the wire for the reverse light, you will need to connect it along with the white wire on the interface unit. That's a trigger wire for the manual transmission. Now let's remove the last plastic piece, because we're gonna hide our camera cable behind the trim. To remove it, go ahead and remove two plastic clips on the sides and pull out the trim firmly. Since this A3 has already OEM backup camera installed, I'm not gonna do the full installation, I'm just gonna show you where to route the cables. Run the camera cable along the existing wire, through the hole, through the rubber seal, and then inside the car. Here you would need to remove two plastic trims, one screw on the lower piece, then run the cable behind these panels to the side panels by the seat. Using provided orange tool, tackle the cable behind this panel, then continue running the cable on the edges of the plastic trim on the side of the vehicle. You don't need to remove the plastic panels, just tackle the cable with the orange tool. Then continue running the cable along the front passenger side to the glove box. Once you brought the cable to the glove box, connect purple wire with the red wire, yellow RCA to rear view camera RCA the interface unit, secure wires with electrical tape, also, if you install on a manual transmission, connect that extra wire with the white trigger wire at our interface unit. Leave interface unit sits on top of the glove box. The last step will be to reinstall the glove box and all the trim pieces in the trunk. Almost forgot, please don't forget to check our new wireless CarPlay system for all cars BMW, Audi, Volvo, Lexus. All our products covered by one year warranty and we ship our product from USA worldwide. Go ahead and visit our site www.carsgadget.com. Thank you for watching, see you next time.